internet. Behold, if you were a child in the 80s or 90s, I defy you to tell me that dragons were not your shirt! Because they certainly were for me! As such, you probably heard of this guy. Uh, what? Uh, Spyro. I think he had like some little thing going on in the late 90s or so. Uh, a little thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, it, a little thing. It, 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 was, it was here that he wasn't. Yeah, 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 it was totally like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Spyro's awesome. And he's back. He's back and he's on PC. Yes. That's right, I got a new, new save slot. Yes. For, <laughs> this, for the sake of the channel. Yes. So here we so here we go. Let's do this. We're getting right into it. <laughs> of course, enjoy the intro in all of its glory. Mm. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! You smug son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And, he's, oh, and he gets it first. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I got some things to do. Wait a minute! In the original, he did not look at the TV like that! <laughs> this game is ruined! It's ruined! Literally unplayable. Uninstall. Oh, yep. Instant uninstall. <laughs> Holy cr two Two things right off the bat. First off, this is fucking gorgeous. Ooh, you know yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. That's all there. Okay, we're good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we don't need that on. Okay. It's we. It's, it's funny. It's funny that way. Oh, really? I, I don't know. If you stand around for too- if you stand around for too long, it gets tired. Uh... Well, I don't know. I like it, but at the same time, I like enjoying the music. Okay, fair enough. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's nice. 60 FPS! Yes. And on ultra-wide! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because it didn't come with all your worried, it's unplayable zero yeah. ten engine stall! Yep, literally had to mod it, but mm. hey, it looks good anyway. Yep. Here he is, the first guy. Who is that guy? <laughs> Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. Hmm. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him! <laughs> Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Oh yeah. Dude, this really does look amazing. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> those guys, those guys are funny. I know, it's like, e every first level has their, like, little fodder. Yeah. Skill point! Ooh! Because they... <laughs> They didn't have skill points in the original first. Oh really? So oh. They, they they were practically spit they were practically spitballing with some of these skill <laughs> points. Some some of them are very similar to how the second and third one work. Ah. Because, you know, the second and third one had skill points. Oh, okay. Such as def such as defeat a boss without such as defeat said boss without taking damage, stuff like that. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Gems Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you! Keep your <laughs> horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? 
Uh, no. What uh, dragonfly? I can't see it past the subtitles. I should probably turn that off. Oh right. And see what I mean. I should probably turn those off. Oh, uh, we could do that, yeah. Wait, no. Uh, uh, yes. Subtitles. Oh, that's right there. Cool. And they're off. They are. They are off. Or are they? Ooh. Are th are they really? <laughs> only one way to find out. It, they just go poof. Yeah. Unless you torch them. Unless you torch them, then they sit there and it's like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I'm burning! I'm no! Major. No! No! They go poof! Whether you charge them or flame in the original! <laughs> just give me away with the original! I want the 32 bit mo I want the 32 bit sprite model, whatever the whatever TF you wanna call it! <laughs> Argus. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss <laughs> is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. He's got a watermelon. <laughs> Malone. <laughs> Wait, waiter Mal waiter Malone. That's how you that's, that's how you pronounce Wait, it. Waiter Malone. <laughs> waiter Malone. <laughs> that's that's how it's pronounced. Don't oh, yeah. bother don't bother fact checking. Who, 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 who are you gonna believe? Me or your own two eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Me, obviously. Obviously. Your, your eyes will deceive you. Don't trust them. <laughs> nice, nice. And more, more along here. Mr. Tumnus. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to go on. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. <laughs> Toys for Bob put so much TLC into this. Oh, yeah. Spyro is so, like, good looking. Like, oh my gosh, man. Like, yeah, all his facial expressions. I know. Tom, so good. Tom Kenny did a, sol did a solid job. I cannot remember the name of the, uh, the first, of the guy who did the original voice for Spyro. Uh. Um, in the original Spyro one, Forget his name. I will remember, and it and it will and he will be credited in the description of this episode. <laughs> and um, but Tom Kenny did voice Spyro in the original two and three, but now he's yeah. but now he's back voicing Spyro in all three in this one. And it's not just the same like dialogue. It's it's re-recorded. Oh wow. So so yes, this is po so this is post SpongeBob Tom Kenny um, vo right. voicing Spyro. <laughs> right, right, yeah. I was gonna say, Tom King is the guy who did SpongeBob, right? <laughs> among, among many others. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of voices. Oh yeah, that people don't even know about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one that's overlooked that I re that I recently rewatched huh. was when he was when he was alongside John DiMaggio doing Korgoth of Barbaria. What? It, it was yeah. I'm pretty sure John DiMaggio and Tom Kenny. They're the they're like the two prominent what do the two prominent voices. In that, it only yeah. ever it only ever had a pilot. It oh, never wow. it never took off. Oh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so goddamn funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah, I have to go back and watch that. <laughs> oh boy. And um, so yes, there was so yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, that's awesome. And. Uh, Nope. It's like, yeah, don't, don't, it's like, don't confuse me for, say, Canadian guy A. I don't know it like the back of my hand, like, instantly. Oh, uh huh. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna be all meticulous because we're going for 100%. Right. And that's, that's it. The first, the first level is done. So now we're doing that for first homeworld. Now we're nice. going to Stone Hill. Very nice. Yeah, you could do this in the in the loading screen. Did you know that? Oh yeah, <laughs> so cool. Nice little nice little touch with that. I love interactive loading screens. Yep, they they're nice, nice polish. I know it's awesome. 
And you, oh man, at this angle you can see like the um, uh, the sub the subsurface scattering uh, like on his horns and whatnot uh -huh. with the light and his wings. Like oh yeah, ah so nice. Dude. Oh wow, that was that was such <laughs> a good transition. I know. Holy crap. That's not unlike how they did it in the original, actually. Oh yeah. You know between you know between this and our in our play in our ongoing playthrough of the Insane trilogy, like mm -hmm. is anyone doing it? Is anyone? It's is anyone doing a tally of how many times I've said original? <laughs> <laughs> should be should be should like we should like we should um we should try to patent that word for our channel. <laughs> original. Original. <laughs> Behold originality! Holy shit. I know, so many tests. Mute. <laughs> Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> it's the, it's like some kind of time. Dragon. <laughs> That's another testament to Toys for Bob's uh, ten, like intense TLC into the craft with this, because yeah. you know artisans themed and everything. Right. Every dragon we've rescued so far has had some kind of artisan type theme going on with them. That's right. Yeah. Every single one. And I don't want to go down there yet because I know there's a key around here to a locked chest that's down there. <laughs> so this area is still within the artisan theme. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like, you saw a Nestor with the a uh, carpenter, I want to say. Uh-huh. Don't know how you get built like that with just carpentry, though. <laughs> then, there, uh, then there was Delvin, he's an artist, because you uh -huh. saw the little thing. Right, the guy, right. The guy we just rescued, I think, is, uh, ma Watchmaker or something? E either that or, yeah, pro probably something like that, because the little glasses he had there. Yeah. And, uh... All, all sorts of things. Yeah, wow, that's really cool. Bam! That's what you get for trying to charge at a dragon. I don't care if you're nearly twice his size. He's a freaking dragon! <laughs> also, look at their horns. That yeah. ram had the curved horn, Spyro had the, like, sharp ones. Mm -hmm. You could, like, jam his horns into the ram's, like, horns. Yeah. And then, like, pick him up and slam him. Oh, it's brutal! Oh, so brutal. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. And here we, and here we have a painter. How about a oh, yeah. on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Ah. Let's be, let's be honest. How, yes, I know it could come in handy, but... How often do you actually do that? Uh, it's so weird. Oh yeah. I don't think I don't know if I've ever done that. <laughs> Besides, you could always do this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotta find him. Gotta find him. Gotta find him. Gotta. Find him. Oh, gems. 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 <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, I wish I could do Zip voice. <laughs> 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 Stop, thief! I'll have your hands for a trophy. Hey, nice. All, all this for an, all this for an egg? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. Mm. To don't say that you don't. Oh yes, look at this. <gasps> what? Secret. Yeah, skill points. That's They're cool. crucial to unlocking the concept art. Ah. You need to do it. You need to do it. Absolutely have to. Oh yes. Absolute necessity. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go along this wall here. Because we're going for everything. Oh yeah. Anything and everything. <laughs> uh, no. I can't go that way. Dragon. Yes, I'll be right back there. Here. 
I look around. Everything is. And I'm well aware of Sparks being able to point to treasure. You click oh. that left thumbstick and he does it. What? I didn't know that. Uh huh. That's cool. Yep. That was a. It was, um. Yeah. No such thing existed in the original first. The original. Original! <laughs> But in the ORIGINAL <laughs> second one, uh, there was like, an uh, it was like, it was, it was never advertised as a feature, but you could just do it and it would happen. And in uh, the ORIGINAL <laughs> Year of the Dragon, um, you would unlock the ability to have sparks point towards treasure. Huh. Huh. That's cool. Okay. Well on the way. Ah! Uh, 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 <laughs> that was not that was not re that was not recycled that was redone in like in pretty good in pretty good faith actually it would do it would do that little that little trill oh, uh, when right. you open the open those kinds of things in the original <laughs> Freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! The mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, hey, there's a beach here. Just don't go in the water. Oh yeah. He can't. He can't swim yet. Nah. Uh, yet. <laughs> yet. The key. You have the key. My friend and people watching, what do keys do? <laughs> hey, unlock things. Mm hmm. And if we don't have the key. <laughs> Never mind. So, <laughs> Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Wait a minute, he has a mustache! <laughs> yeah, he does! I never noticed that! <laughs> is he a is he a beer drinking hipster? <laughs> I I, I, I can't say he he had he had a nose ring. Yeah, he did. And a mustache. I did not notice that before. <laughs> A, 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 a dragon with any kind of a dragon with any kind of hair that's not on their head is off-putting. Yeah. Or, well, okay, I could get the beer. I could get the beers. Actually, you know what? Never mind. But just the mustache is, yeah. throw, is throwing me. It was throwing me for a loop right there. <laughs> like what? If he breathes fire, it's gonna burn. <laughs> it's gonna burn. <laughs> it's gonna burn. You, it's I mean, gonna burn. You, you, you could work. You could work with the beard, maybe, and maybe the beard mustache combo. But just the mustache? Yeah. Just the mustache? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't get it. That, that's good. That's gonna. I'm gonna be wrapping my head around that for a while. Yes, that's a pretty weird one. Uh, time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll we'll be we'll be back gauging things out. And we will continue on the next one. Credit to credit to all things referenced. You know what they are. We shouldn't have to explain it. But yeah. at the risk of getting demonetized, some of the some of <laughs> we will name the names that had to do with Spyro here, yes. such as such as the dude who voiced him in the original first game. <laughs> Why can't I remember? He voiced Parappa the Rappa in the 90s. Uh, ooh, I don't know, sorry. Yeah, anyway. We'll be back! See ya!